Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create your own custom classes in Dark Souls 1 with Cheat Engine. First, you're going to want to start a new game. And we're just going to edit the warrior. As you can see right now, it's completely unchanged from a normal warrior. That's not going to last for long, though. First, you want to open up Cheat Engine right here. You're going to want to, in the top left where it's glowing, click that button, find Dark Souls.exe, open it. Press yes for the confirmation, and now in the cheat table itself, there's a thing here that says open. You just want to click that, then you want to click the first one, the character parameter. Underneath is the loot, we'll get into that near the end of the video. So we have two things in here for each class. We have an in-game, warrior through deprived, and then a menu for warrior through deprived. The menu is what shows up in the game here as you're scrolling around in this area. You, that is separate from what you actually start th with the game when you have the uh, broken straight sword in your hand. It's separate from that. So we're just going to edit the warrior menu for now so we can see our changes. What we want to do is we want to see this address here. And we'll open up this character helper up top. And the warrior menu is right there. So we're going to type that into the value in this address bar here. 05B... 2937C. There we go. Once we have that typed in, make sure you got the right one. Yep. Hit open and voila, we're ready to edit just like that. <coughs> so, one thing I'll, I'll let you know is uh, the value for the address here down on this spot. It'll be different every time you open the game, but it'll always be the right one. You just have to type it in. So what we want to do is first we can give them some souls if we want. So you know, let's do 500 souls you start with. Then we have our right hand equip one. This is the long sword ID. What we're going to do is we're going to replace that. So open up the ID Excel file that's available for download in the description, just like the cheat table. And let's do a lightning morning star plus four. Copy that ID there. Put it right there. And then we can put a fire morning star, no plus, in our left hand, number one. And we'll put another one in our right, or in our left hand, number two. Why not? You know? We'll make this one plus four. Okay. Now we can change our armor. So we want to go to the armor section here. And let's go with the Xanthus waist cloth. I'm on that. So let's put that in the leg slot. And for the, oops, I messed up something there. <laughs> I guess we're going to go with the black sorcerer for the rest of it. <laughs> Let's put the helm on there. Put the body on and the gauntlets on. As you can see, it's not showing up in the game yet. We'll get to that once we're done editing. We can put arrows and bolts in here, both slots. We can put some rings on them. How about we do that? Let's go with the... Rusted Iron Ring, which is 125, as well as the Hornet Ring, 117. You can also equip spells if you want. Um, I don't have these spells in this list right now, but they will be there when I upload it. I do know that Combustion is 4000, the ID, so I'll just put that in there so we can see that. And then put another spell in there. I think that's Great Combustion, 4100. Now we can also add items to the hotbar, see item 1 through 5, and the amount of 1 through 5. So for item 1, let's go to our items here and, whoops, that's rings, let's go to our items and look what we can do. How about a firebomb, 292, <coughs> put that right there, and we want 5 firebombs, let's do that. Then we also want to have a red eye orb, so let's put 102 in the second slot, because 102 is for the red eye orb. We just want one of those, so just put that at one. Then most importantly, we have the soul level and all the stats. So let's make ourselves soul level 30 and just put all these stats at 20 right off the bat and just mess a couple up, you know? And there we go. You can also do the humanity we can set to 15. And now that we've finished editing our character, we can 
Look, oh, I think my humanity's off, but whatever. Now that we've finished editing the character, we can see our changes by going to class and just clicking A. Boom, there he goes. Now the humanity is off. Oh, well, I'll fix that in the table. <laughs> but right now, as you can see, we have our three morning stars, two fire ones in our left hand. We have fireball and combustion, our armor, our items, the rings we picked, all of that. You know, everything else here is unchanged, but going back to our warrior, that's how he looks. However, we can't just start the game yet. What we need to do is we need to make sure the in-game version of him is ready to go. So, before we accept our changes, let's get back to Cheat Engine. Oh, so I didn't get rid of Cheat Engine to show that. There you go, you see everything is matched up, right? <laughs> Whoops. Well, let's get back to Cheat Engine. What you want to do now to... the easiest way to do this is right click on souls over here, anywhere on it, go to browse this memory region, and right here, copy all these lines. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lines here that I have at least. Third, this is the default size of this box over here, um, right here like this. This is the default size of the box, so it should look the same for you when you're copying it. Just want to control C to copy that. And then we are going to scroll back down. We want to find, see we were just edi editing the, wa the warrior menu right here. But what we want to do is we want it to show up on our warrior in game right here. So we're going to right click on this, browse this memory region and we are going to control V to paste. Boom. There we go. You can also do right click and paste to also put it in there. Same, you can also right click and copy to clipboard from this as well. So you can do that however you want. Now, not only is our character looking and being like this in the menu, he will now, when we accept, be like this in the game. And here we are, ready to go. See, there's our stats, <clears throat> one vitality, 500 souls, all of our other stuff here. Our morning stars upgraded appropriately, the rings we wanted, even the items we wanted. And it's all in our inventory here. Now, usually when you start a character, you will still pick up, since I am the warrior, you'll still pick up the long sword and the heater shield. Some people might not want that. They might want to start you empty-handed and let you pick those up. Oh, also we have our spells attuned here. So that was quickly how you can create your own custom starting class and give them the tools you need to get them going. But now the rest of the video is going to be on how to change the loot so that you can make them pick up their items if you want. Oh, let me delete that character. Show you what I mean by that. Let's go to a new game. Let's pick our warrior class. But this time, let's go back to Cheat Engine. We are going to go to the warrior in-game option. We're going to undo some of the changes we just did. 05B2586C. Open. And this is our in game version of the warrior. You see, we have our right hand equip and left hand equips here. These are the weapons we had. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lightning morning star from us. I'm going to copy that number, set this to negative one. It'll show up as this really big number here, but that just means negative one. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of our lightning one as well, or one of these fire ones. That was the lightning one. Let's get rid of those. There we go. Or all of them. We don't have any weapons now. Which, you notice I still see them here. That's because I only edited the in-game character. I didn't edit the menu character. 
This is just the character we're going to have in-game. So now that that's out of the way, we can move on to the item lot param. What we're going to do here is we are going to find the warrior weapon drop right here. And much like before, we're going to open up the helper for item lots. And in the address bar, we're going to put this right here. 05A FD910 and open. Here's everything here. Now it has all these slots, but really all you need is this. Actually, all that works is this. <laughs> That's what I should be saying. This is all that really works. <laughs> Just the first item. So here, as we can see, that is, again, the ID for the longsword, because that's what you pick up when you pick the warrior, is the longsword. That's the drop chance, 100%. That's obviously there. You get one longsword off of that. In the category, you can just leave it at whatever it is. When you're replacing the weapon, you can just leave it there, or the shield, whatever it is. Just leave that. So we wanted to put our lightning morning star there. So there's the ID I copied. That's our plus four lightning morning star. And that's that. <laughs> now let's go to the warrior shield drop. Let's close this. And the warrior shield drop just has 9A4 at the end instead. Open that up. There's the heater shield ID. We are going to change that to our fire morning star there we go and that's that <laughs> it's that simple we've now changed the warrior weapon drop and the warrior shield drop so let's hide cheat engine away really quick and let us start our another another character how we no longer have any weapons. We have everything else, but even though the menu showed we have those weapons, we didn't have them equipped on our in-game character, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna run ahead until I can get to the... <coughs> Oops, coughed there. Until we can get to the uh, loot. <laughs> And this isn't really a necessary step, changing the loot, because you can just drop whatever items you want. But if you really want to be very purist about how you do it, then you could go like this, where you start with just the broken straight sword, and you just keep it at that. There we go. Instead of the shield, we get our fire morning star. And instead of the longsword, we have acquired our lightning morning star plus four. We are ready to go kill the asylum demon now. Whoops. You can see they work fine. <laughs> and that's how you can change the loot tables. And just play the game as normal from here. And that's really all there is to it. Um, once you kind of figure out there's everything here for all the different classes, the warrior, the knight, the wanderer, the thief, the sorcerer's weapon, shield, <coughs> and his staff even, same for the pyromancer and the cleric, you can change their drops. And for all the classes, you can as well change their menu so you can see what you're doing there, as well as their in-game versions to be different even from them. All with the use of these two helpers right here. Thank you for watching.